Okay, folks. Well, how about that clip? <laughs> We're going to... I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to play some more clips here that I found here in just a few minutes. But uh, first, uh, I wanted to go ahead and welcome all of you here to the table. Yes, welcome. If it's your first time. I have our neutral cards here, or the gender cards here. We have male, female, and neutral. And uh, a lot of times what I'll do, I'll just shuffle them and I'll roll the dice and ask the uh, spirits to help me find out what's, you know, if there's a spirit here with me or with us, you know, and so I'll ring that bell again. And let's check and see if we have any activity. We do. Look at our folks. That means possibly we could have maybe some spirits floating around here. So we need to find out if we have a male, female, or a neutral spirit here first. Uh, and then we're going to go, and I'll, what I do, I just roll the dice and ask the spirits to help me roll the dice. I need a one, two, or three. And it is a three, okay. So uh, it's very interesting how these come up. It, it really, truly is. So, All right, so let's see. I'll go from the left to the right. So that would be that third one right there. And let's see who we have. We have, we have, it is going to be, drum roll, please. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a male here. So, folks, possibly a male is going to be talking to us here on the board. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so I want to play this first clip, and I'm calling it It Runs Up the Wall by Gangu P. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but uh, this is the video that, uh, that I found on his site. Here it is. <laughs> According to locals, someone hanged themselves in this very building. <laughs> well, whatever happened there and whatever they've spotted, it's there it is on the wall and boy I tell you what, they were they were scared there and and like I said, I don't know if this is acting or not. You let me know what you think. I don't know. Pretty good acting. According to locals, but, someone hanged themselves in this very building. See, that's the part right there. Was they doing a seance? That's That was a big mistake right there, if they were. And probably didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> But there it is. Whatever that is, it was crawling up the wall. So, uh, wow. Okay, so this clip, there's a lady at a door with a knife. <laughs> She's just standing there with a knife in her hand. So I'm not sure what's going on here don't know what she thought was thinking but if you see someone like this at your door holding a knife do not open that door i'm just telling you do not open that door <laughs> all right so next this is so funny i called it the ghost cat check it out <laughs> It's just behind the curtain, standing there, or sitting there, just like nobody can see me. Nobody can see me. <laughs> that is hilarious. The cat's not even moving. <laughs> Playing hide and go seek. <laughs> That's funny. Now this one... You should never, probably should never scare kids, because it's going to be with them the rest of their life. <laughs> oh my gosh. She just throws whatever she had in her hand in the sink. They run. And I don't know what they were doing. I guess they couldn't find a way out. They got scared maybe in the next room. So they decided, well, the heck with it. I'm just going to go out the front door where the ghost did. Oh, my goodness. 
Folks, that's funny. Like I said, you probably should never scare kids like that because it's going to stay with them for a while. Now, this next one here, this is very creepy. So, this is somebody that caught their, their kids just going inside the house. Coming home, maybe. And then this happens. Shower really fast. I need you to go shower. Daniel. Now, folks, if you see someone like this on your doorbell camera here? and they're acting like that, Get out of here. and you don't know, please do not right, open look. the door. That is so creepy, just how this was filmed by the doorbell camera. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you know, I told you that um, I think people are possessed. They get possessed. Well, this is a fine example. And this is a lady, next door neighbor. I don't know if she's drunk, but she's desperately wanting oh, somebody come to come to the door. This could be an entity that just grabbed this person and decided to just go to the door and spook the hell out of people. Folks, if that comes to your door, if someone like that comes to your door, it's probably not a good idea. To <laughs> Check out the, the laugh, the scary, creepy laugh. She ain't giving up either. She is not giving up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at okay. the hand come back. Okay. Open the door. She's wanting somebody to open that door. Who knows what she wants, but look at that look. Yep, that may be possibly an entity that just grabbed on to that person. That's creepy. Now, this next one here, this next clip, this is our final clip. Uh, this this dude must be on crack. Oh, who knows? I don't know. But he thinks he's at a restaurant, at a drive-through yeah, maybe. Dollars breakfast special. No, sorry, can't help you. <laughs> oh um, my gosh. That's fine. Let me get um. That no. is hilarious. And small fry. Double cheeseburger and a small fry. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Whoa. Wow. What? We're closed. You have to leave. Now, how do you even... How, how can you even not know that you're not at a restaurant? You must be just... And he decides, well, okay, whatever. And so he just leaves. Folks, definitely, if you see that at your door, do not. And I mean, I repeat, do not open that door. <laughs> wow. Oh, ring the bell, ring the bell. All them clips, you know, there's some something going on here on the table here. Um, so what this is, folks, what I have, I have over a thousand messages in the, the bag here. And I like to try to see if the spirits can talk to us by these messages here. It's very interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll the dice, ask the spirit to give me a number of how many messages to pull out of the bag. So let's see what the spirits may help us with. Looks like four. Okay, so I'm going to pull out four messages here. And let's see. One, oh, two, three, and four. Now, remember, we have a male symbol on the table. A male symbol on the table. Okay, so that means that this possibly could be a male trying to talk to us from the board here. So the first message here from this bag, it says, Search in Deserts search in deserts oh okay i don't know what that one mean but uh, i am trying to protect you pay attention to your surroundings folks if there's a spirit trying to t protect you pay attention to your surroundings so uh, that's an interesting one very good one could be a it's scary what some of these messages what they may mean so you are not alone so that you can take this anyway 
I don't know. Maybe it's your spirit. Maybe there's a spirit with you. I, I would think. That would be good. And the last one here that the spirits want you to know, your thoughts and feelings about him is correct. So if you've been thinking about a male uh, and you're wondering about the thoughts, well, spirits are saying it could possibly be a male that you're right. <laughs> Um, hmm. Okay, folks, I rung the bell. Thank you for watching. Uh, and until next time, folks, this is George. You all, please be safe.